Guys, if you're a Porsche fanatic and you get upset easily, you probably don't wanna watch this video because the Porsche 996 911 is the worst 911 ever built. Sorry. Let's address a few of the reasons. The first is the engine. The second is the interior. And the third, I can't remember the third reason. Oh yeah, the headlights are ugly. Now, as far as the engine goes, there's two main problems. The first is a bad bearing in the bottom of the engine, and the second is a bad cylinder head in the top of the engine. Both of these issues can cause catastrophic engine failure. Having a bad bearing in the bottom of the engine is probably less likely to happen than people think. Developing a cylinder head crack is probably more common than people think. That sticker right there denotes that this car has a new bearing in the bottom of the engine, so that's taken care of. Although there's things you can do to the engine to prevent the cracked cylinder head, at the end of the day, that still poses a significant risk. As far as the interior goes, it's really just a little cheap feeling. There's not a whole lot you can do about that, and honestly, it wouldn't keep me from buying this car. The headlights though, that probably keeps a lot of people from buying this car. There are a couple of things you can do to your headlights to make them look a little less bad. But before we start, there's something I need to say. Just because this is the worst 911 doesn't mean I don't think it's a cool car. But there are a lot of 911s, and out of all of them, this is the worst 911. And by the way, I've had two of them, so I'm not against the car, but this is the worst 911. There are basically three options to improve the look of your headlights. The first is inside this box. It's actually a pretty quick and simple modification. This is a sticker you can put around your headlight. It's a sub $50 option, and I think it looks terrible. The next option is a complete front end conversion. Although it probably looks the best, investing $10,000 into a $20,000 car for round headlights is probably a bad investment. But if you already bought a Porsche 911 996, you know all about bad investments. This is the worst 911 ever made. Your third option and the reason we're here today is currently in my left hand. Now it's in my right hand. And now it's in both hands. This is the Porsche 911 996 round headlight cover put out by Varial Designs. And it's your only option. It's made of polyurethane. It covers the headlight nicely, giving you the round headlight appearance, while also not fitting unless you have two hands to put it on. Right now it's the wrong color, but let's make it the right color. Notice this little cutout. That's because my 911 headlights have the turn signal built into the headlight. The newer model 996 headlight doesn't have this cutout. Before we paint match the headlight covers, let's address the elephant in the room. If you don't like the 911 headlights on this car, don't buy this car. Don't ruin these headlights. Go buy a round headlight 911, you stupid idiot. Well, guess what? That's not possible because this car is probably half as expensive as any round headlight 911. And the reason, the reason it's half as expensive is because these headlights look so bad that people don't want to buy this car. Yes, that's the reason that this car is so cheap. I know I said the engine's no good, and I know I said the interior looks bad, but people are willing to ignore those things. It's the look of the car that sells the car, and people don't like the way this looks. I'm sorry, they don't, I don't. Remember, I've owned two of these cars. I'm an idiot. The pieces come pre-sanded and ready for primer, although I've been touching them with my fingers all morning, which means there's oil in the plastic. So what I'll do to clean these is use a water-based product called Prep by Sem. I'll link it down below. Supply a little bit of this product, and rub it in with a wet Scotch-Brite. Once they're dry again, I try not to touch them with bare hands on camera. This is a great time to use our pop-up paint booth, although mine needs an upgrade. See the graffiti that says subscribe? That's for you, subscribe. Construction paper keeps it clean and a few staples keep it neat. Make sure to set your pieces up so you have a good angle of attack with the paint sprayer. The brown paper keeps our workspace neat, it keeps it clean, and it keeps it organized. Painting can be complicated, and this helps keep it simple. Two or three coats of the gray primer gives us a soft base, so when we mix our Porsche Arctic Silver color and spray two or three coats, it blends right in. A few layers of clear coat helps it match the remainder of the car. How about it, another garage paint job in the books turned out pretty decent. The real important question though is, does it match our paint? This time around the answer is yes, and that's because I just painted this fender and this bumper, so this whole area matches really well. Now we have to figure out how to fix this to our headlight in a semi-permanent way because the next buyers might not be so interested in the way this looks, and honestly, I might not be interested in it either. I'm thinking the best way of mounting this will involve our tinted headlight wrap and a little bit of clear silicone adhesive. Let me show you. I don't want any of the silicone to be directly fixed to our headlight lens. Starting with a perfectly clean headlight, I'll wrap the entire perimeter of the headlight in black electrical tape. And the purpose of this is to keep any of the leaking silicone off the edges of our headlight. 
Then I cut my headlight film into small strips. In short segments, I line the perimeter with the headlight film. This ensures we don't get any silicone on our headlight lens. So every part of the headlight that was just protected now gets a heavy bead of silicone. Now it's time to lay the cover on, but try to minimize the need to move it once it's made contact with your silicone. I need another hand. All right, this ain't gonna work. I gotta come up with a better way. Great. Okay, this is better. Run strips of painter's tape over the cover. You only get one chance to secure this thing, so make sure it's nice and solid. And now do the same exact thing on your passenger side. This side's going on a little easier, but that's probably only because this side wasn't involved in a high-speed collision. Once you're satisfied that everything's well fixed and held into place, I went a little extra hard on this side. Then we need to give it about an hour to dry. Just like that, it's been about two hours at 69 degrees, so let's remove all of our tape. Careful when you pull your tape off, you don't want to pull your cover off with it. So make sure you give your silicone enough time to cure. And if you're like me and you just painted your car, be careful you don't pull off any paint or clear coat. Guys, of all the options available for your 911 headlights, this is the best. They flow with the body lines, they're easy to install, they're relatively affordable, and you can really upgrade the look of your 911 front end. I've said it before and I'll say it again, if you don't like the way that that 911 headlight looks, you don't have to do this to your car, it's all good. But I happen to love this, so much so that this car is for sale.